This is your daily dose at the Calgary Zoo. My name is Jen and I'm part of the education team here and I want to share one of my favorite parts of the zoo with you. So here we are with my buddy Tyrannosaurus Rex and some people often wonder why do we have a prehistoric park inside the Calgary Zoo? This is generally a place for live animals so why do we have this place with statues? The Calgary Zoo first opened in 1929 and shortly thereafter there was the Natural History Park which had a whole bunch of super cool dinosaur statues in it. Those statues were created in consultation with some very cool paleontologists at the time. Charles M. Sternberg was one of them from the Natural Museum in Ottawa and they reflect the science of the time. So you may see some of the statues around the Calgary Zoo. They reflect what paleontologists thought dinosaurs looked like at the time. And we know that since then, since the 1930s, a lot of the ways that we see dinosaurs have changed. Paleontology, just like any other science, is a living human endeavor. And it requires a lot of analogy with animals that are alive today. So in the 30s and in the 60s, when dinosaurs like my buddy here were, were created or were modeled, dinosaurs were thought to be slow reptiles, slow lizards with cold blood, who didn't move very fast, who dragged their tails. Um, but now we know that dinosaurs are related to birds. When you see reconstructions of dinosaurs today, they look a lot faster, they look a lot more sleek, their tails are up off the ground, they may have feathers. But for now, we see this as a beautiful legacy of the wonderful, rich fossil history that Calgary and Alberta has. And we know that a lot of you have come to visit this park throughout your lives. We'd love to hear stories of how you've come to see this place. Um, we'd love to hear how you've seen the dinosaurs change, how you've seen the park change. Uh, we love Prehistoric Park here at the Calgary Zoo, and we hope that you love it as well. Thank you for joining me here in The Daily Dose. In The Daily Dose at home, we're going to explore a little bit more about paleontology, and I hope you'll join us there too. And thank you so much for supporting wildlife conservation.